Morning guys, it is almost time to work out, but before I work out, you know what I gotta do? And that is have a zip fizz. We are having berry today. I did not roulette this. We literally only have 10 tubes left. The situation is dire. However, I have already ordered four 30 packs from Costco's website. Hopefully they get here within the next week or we're gonna have to be like hunger gamesing it over <laughs> these zip fizz. But I'm having berry today, my number one favorite flavor. Kicking it old school with the Zip Fizz bottle opener that started it all. Whoa. Okay guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. Oh, 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 hey, oh, body roll, oh, here it comes. To having a great day, to being productive, to making yourself proud, to having a positive outlook, and to reaching your goals. You deserve it. Woo! And I deserve this berry zip fizz. Oh, man. Mm. Okay, I was gonna do kickboxing today, but honestly, that zip fizz shake just kind of got me in the mood to dance. I don't know, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I'm gonna take like the next 10 minutes to figure out which workout I wanna do. Regardless, it's Les Mills on demand today. to go with body combat kickboxing only 35 minutes but that was amazing like I love Les Mills on demand there's so many great types of workouts there's body combat which is kickboxing shabam which is dancing they have yoga spinning running weightlifting all that stuff like I'm a Les Mills stan Woo! Milton sit sit to oh whoa whoa Milton <laughs> sit Milton Oh, jeez. Good boy, tootie boy. Good boy. Madeline. Oh, there's... Oh, okay. okay. You're a hater, man. You're a hater. Okay, guys, back at my desk. Gonna do a little professional training and development, okay? Always keep getting better at something. That's all I'm gonna say. Whether it's your relationship with food or your health or your way of eating, learn a new skill. I don't care. Like, just keep striving to be better. And that's what I'm doing, especially since I got all this free time on my hands. But to start the day, I am having some almonds. And I'm having my cello wisps. And I've had some people ask, like, why do you call them cello wisps? It just says wisps right there. But if you look right here, you see cello. Now, I call them that because that's what they were first introduced to me as by Matt and Mega from Keto Connect. Of course, when I started keto, I stumbled upon their channel, saw that they loved cello wisps. And I was like, I can go get me some cello wisps. And that's precisely what I did. So now that's just what I call them. Call them whatever you want. They are cheesy medallions of goodness. So I'm gonna eat these and do some online training until it's time for the live. Okay guys, now it's time for my bulletproof coffee. It's just a cup of coffee, a cup of almond milk, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of butter. I had some sweetener and a scoop of this preferred keto chocolate collagen powder. This is my favorite flavored collagen ever. This is the preferred keto brand. They just actually launched a new formulation of their chocolate and it is delicious. I'd like to thank preferred keto for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in checking out their collagen, you can use my code WAC10 for 10% off on their website. I'll put a link in the description box below. If you like chocolate, if you like coffee, give this a try. Once again, WAC10 gets you 10% off on their website. Now I'm going to have me cafe and go practicar mi espanol. Adios. Sin azúcar, por favor. Un vaso de 
agua. <laughs> Yo quiero una ensalada de taco. Hello. Un vaso de café, por favor. Mmm. Uh, delicioso. Okay guys, in the immortal words of Hilary Duff in the Lizzie McGuire movie, hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Like, you guys, taco tray, oh my god, it just smells so good. Like I, this is a little bit of a kitchen sink taco tray today. So I have the staples, I have lettuce, I have that taco meat, I have cheese, sour cream. I got my pork rinds and guacamole. I have that chipotle aioli. I got fire sauce. I got tapatio. Then I got fancy and covered it with some fresh jalapenos and cilantro. Come at me, bro. But then I had some arugula left over from lasagna bowl last week. And I had some fajita vegetables left over from date night with my honey bunny. So I just decided to throw them all in here and it was a good choice. Okay guys, I'm going in with a pork rind and a fajita veg. Oh my God, look at that, look at that. And those fajita vegetables are just red pepper, green pepper, and onion, roasted and heated up in olive oil. I didn't even heat those up. I put those on this salad cold. Comment down below, could you do cold fajita vegetables or would you have had to heat them up? The only thing I heated up is this delicious taco meat and I'm about to enjoy this whole thing now. I'm watching Prodigal Son today. It's a little more suspenseful than I'm usually into, but like the storyline is interesting and there's really nothing else on. Okay, before I get back to work, I'm gonna have four of these mini fat bombs that I made. I call them my chocolate coconut butter fat bombs. You can see the recipe here. It's just chocolate, coconut oil, nut butter, coconut, and some sweetener. The macros on these are a lot better than they would be on a Quest Bar. These have a much higher fat content, less protein, and they're still chocolatey and nut buttery and delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The texture from the coconut, also mixed with like the texture of the nut butter. I have this mixed nut butter from Costco, so it has like almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. So there are little ground up seed bits in here, and that really adds to the texture of these as well. Okay, so I'm gonna have these, force myself to drink some water, <laughs> and then maybe I'll be back with Jello and Sprite at the end of the day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay guys, as you can see, I done put on a face because I shot a video for my sister's YouTube channel. In the afternoon, I did have two Jellos and a Sprite Zero, uh, but now I am just sitting in my breezeway. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to go on a walk today because I was just too busy, but I do want to make some more headway on my audiobook, The Alchemist, so it is a bright and sunny evening, so I'm just sitting in our breezeway and I'm going to be listening to my audiobook and I've decided to start on a crochet project. Uh, maybe it's going to be a scarf, maybe it's going to be a blanket, maybe it's going to be a pot holder. I can tell you this, it will be a rectangle of sorts because that's all I know how to make. I got my water here. I am sad to say that this will be the first and last bottle of water that I'm drinking today. So that'll put me at a cool 24 ounces, which is better than zero, but like I've got to do better with my water. But I'm just gonna sit here and chill, finish out the evening until it's time to go get the dogs. Hope you enjoyed today's What I Eat Wednesday. It was Taco Bowl. I'm committing to having something different next week. Look, you guys, like this is me telling you right now, comment down below, what should I make for meal prep next week? I really, I'm interested in your suggestions because right now my mind goes nowhere except Taco Bell. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye! Mm. Gotta do better.